Shut down on a major road in the West Valley as surprise police investigate a deadly shooting. Police say one person was shot in what appears to be a road rage situation. You'll be able to see on the map here the road we're talking about 163rd Avenue between Grand and Pat Tillman. That is the area that is closed off tonight and that is where we find Zach Prolutsky. Zach, you just spoke to police a few minutes ago. What did they have to say about this? Well, guys, we're learning a little bit more details about what apparently happened and led up to this deadly shooting and also a little bit more about both the victim and the suspect. We know from police that a 33 year old man was shot multiple times and has died after the shooting. Meanwhile, a teenager, an 18 year old man is now in custody in connection to the shooting. And it's been about three and a half hours since those first 911 calls came in, but still a very active scene going on here. We are right on the intersection of 163. Third Avenue and Grand. Traffic still moving on Grand, but you can see completely shut down here on 163rd Avenue, all the way down, as you mentioned, to Pat Tillman, and it will be this way for the next several hours. Now, surprise police say they got several 911 calls around 1.30 this afternoon at this intersection about a shooting. When officers arrived, police say they found that 33-year-old victim with multiple gunshot wounds to his chest. Police say that Witnesses, citizens who were also in this area started to try and give first aid to that victim, but it wasn't enough. It happened a little bit too late. That victim was pronounced dead shortly after officers arrived. Now, in terms of the suspect in the shooting, police say they were able to use technology and cameras that are stationed around this interstate intersection and station around lots of intersections like this in surprise to quickly identify the shooter. They took that 18 year old man whose identity has not been been released to us yet into custody at his surprise home. He also called police, were told to turn himself in while officers were going to his home. Sergeant Rick Hernandez with the Surprise Police Department says if you ever find yourself in a road rage situation, get in touch with law enforcement as quickly as you can. We encourage everybody to be a good witness. Take a photograph if you can of a license plate of the driver. Don't engage, and then, of course, call your local police departments because we're most best equipped to, to handle those situations. And detectives just got on scene within the last 20, 30 minutes. They are kind of stationed at one of these medians right here. We're seeing uh, what probably appears to be several shell casings that are on the ground. So obviously the detectives are here. That will take several more hours, we're told, to kind of finish up this investigation. Police are also asking anyone who was near this intersection at the time of the shooting, if you're one of the people that called 911, if you happen to have video of either the shooting, what happened before or right after, Surprise Police is asking to get in touch with them either to call them directly or send them an 